Hey guys, Matt Curry back again. Today I want to talk about uh, fatigue uh, and your classic call from an athlete saying, oh, you know, I was, I was really tired, I headed out the door, felt, felt like rubbish and uh, just called it a day because I didn't think I was going to get anything out of it. Uh, and very often I'll, I'll get an email in regards to that on a, on a day in which their long run for that athlete is falling and particularly if it's preceded by their long ride, you know, they'll... They'll send me a note saying, oh, I just felt like garbage. So I couldn't move my legs and I headed home. I was tired. And I'll, I'll counter that and I'll say, well, I think you ought to persist a little bit longer. Because very often, yeah, you're carrying fatigued, but you're also what we call blocked. And you need to unblock the pipes and clear the carbon out. Um, so, yeah, I encourage you not to take that uh, the bat and ball approach and head home. It's the wrong one to take. You know, you... And, as you get more aerobically developed as well, you often find that it takes longer to warm up and into things. So you've got to persist there and recognise that it's, it can just be the norm. Um, and again, on that long day, the long run, following the long bike, very often it can take one third or, or half of a, of a long run to, to start to feel like you, you, you're unblocking and getting that carbon out and starting to get your legs underneath you. So persist, persist uh, when it comes to that. Another area in which we can relate that is after, say, an athlete's been a bit over-exuberant in a, a running track session, um, and, you know, that, so they've, they've produced too much lactate, they've done the intensity way too hard, let's say, VO2 max session that, that was inappropriate in its intensity or, or the duration of the intervals or the or the quantity of quality, as in the, the total duration of the workload in the session, you know, maybe it's 30 minutes instead of a more appropriate 15. Uh, so, you know, very often an athlete the next day will not do anything, figuring that they need to rest. And again, touching on what I've said in previous, um, previous notes, it's probably the worst thing to do, to take to take a rest day the next day because you're drawing from both ends. Number one, the previous evening you've you've made a withdrawal in in, in going using too much of your anaerobic system um, and generating too much lactate, and then the next day you're resting. So you want to you want to sort of refresh the organism, so to speak, and put some um, aerobic time back in, you know, uh, to 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 reboot the system. And when you back those two things up together, ironically, that can have a pretty uh, a positive effect on your aerobic capacity. If you if we want to use Euro speak here, you have uh, an intensive session followed by an extensive. So back to back, um, it, it's a positive. But to, especially if you're overdoing it like that, you really or have done, uh, you want to you want to sort of counteract it immediately the next day. But number one, don't you put yourself in that position in the first place. Keep your ego out of it and do appropriate sessions, the ones you need to do, not just the ones that are that are supposedly fun on the night um, and you show up and change your, your, your planned session on the back of it being a tri-club group workout that you can't keep your ego out of because you want to race your mates even though you're a level or two below them. Um, that, again, just comes back to to how serious you are about achieving your goals and it's all it's all fine to do what you want no problem at all I don't give a shit you know do the workouts as you want but if you if it's not going to be something that's going to be a positive step towards you achieving what you're achieving or doesn't run, run congruent with your goals then reassess your goals um, and recalibrate them and, and give yourself a reality check I say so yeah uh, you know, um, back on topic, don't um, don't pull pull up stumps too early in your workouts when you're not feeling great. Um, let the carbon blow out and and normalise your system a little bit. And uh, particularly after harder sessions, don't underestimate the impact of heading out the next door and doing some basic endurance work to not only counteract that session. Um, if it's done, been done a little bit too intensively, but also the positive benefits of doing a hard session followed by an extensive one the next day. There's value in that. Cheers.